afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry View here, and welcome to another one of my Sibler Troll Aerospace Dimension videos. Uh, someone had requested that I make this video, and I fully intended to make it, so here we are. This is Module 1, Chapter 3, which talks about balloons. So we'll be talking a little bit about the history of balloons and how balloons actually work. The first working balloon was created by two brothers, the Montgolfer brothers, which I had mentioned in the first chapter of this module. And essentially they had created a working device that allowed two guys, um, Marquis Francois de Hollande and uh, Plâtre de Rosé. I think that's how you say their names. But the these two guys, they got to fly and it was the first manned flight. Which was a huge deal because no one had really flown before and hot air balloons became widely used for a lot of different functions including war like the civil war later on so it was very important for being a strategic advantage and it showed that aerospace would inevitably be an advantage for whoever has the better manpower and air power and there is a difference between the the first manned flight versus the first powered control flight which is credited to the famous Wright brothers who had flown their, their wonderful plane at Kitty Hawk. So how do hot air balloons work? Well, basically, it's a lovely balloon shape, as, as you know what balloons look like, and it works on the principle of something called buoyancy. What is buoyancy? Well, buoyancy is essentially where the air within the balloon is lighter than the surrounding air, and it is able to float and if you think of little like pool buoys that you put on little toddlers arms those, those are buoyant because the air within the the little buoys are less dense and lighter than the surrounding water enabling the child to float because of those being lifted to the surface of the water and so hot air works the same way in that it is lighter than the surrounding air and it can be lifted. Now something really cool about hot air balloons is that there's a hole in the top called the crown and then there's a parachute inside of that which the controller of the hot air balloon kind of like control in order to adjust the amount of hot air that is within the balloon because hot air is generated underneath the balloon so I'll, I'll have an image of this. There's a there's a source of fire and as they turn up the heat it increases the, the temperature of the air within and enables the hot air balloon to rise and as they want to sink down then they let go of the hot air gradually of course which enables them to sink back down to the ground. There's three different instruments within a hot air balloon. There's something called the altimeter, which tells the pilot what the altitude of the balloon is. There's the thermistor, which is what tells the pilot the temperature of the top of the balloon. And then there's the varometer, which tells the pilot how fast their vertical velocity is as they are moving up. In fact, Civil Air Patrol, I believe they have two hot air balloons, but I'm not quite 100% sure about that. I know I know we do have hot air balloons, I just don't know how many. But they are flown occasionally, and if you ever have the chance to fly in a hot air balloon, it might be a fun thing to do. So, it, it, there really wasn't a whole lot to this chapter, but just the main things, like the Monk Alfer Brothers is a big thing in, in that they created the hot air balloon that actually works, which enabled the first manned flight. And there's activities that you can do in association to hot air balloons. So you can take a look at those. There's also an AEX activity where you can make your own hot air balloon by like gluing pieces of paper together and then using like a, a hair dryer to like blow the, the hot air balloon up and then you turn it off and then it sinks down. It's, it's pretty cool, but you'll have to check it out yourself. So I'll include a link to AEX activities down in the description down below so thank you guys so much for watching and that is all folks until next time